Okay, and welcome back. So I'm going to talk to you about generating functions, and the problem we're working with is a right triangle with an inscribed rectangle. So we're given that a right triangle with sides 8 and 10 inches has an inscribed rectangle along the legs of the triangle. Express the area of the rectangle in terms of the lengths x of its side along the longer leg of the triangle. Well, first of all, let's look at the first sentence. It says a right triangle with sides 8 and 10. Okay. You'll notice that I have three triangles here. There's a reason for that. So the longer side's going to be 10, and the shorter side's going to be 8. Okay? And it says that it has an inscribed rectangle. Um, let's keep reading a little bit more. They want us to express the area of the rectangle, okay, in terms of the length x of its side along the longer leg. Okay, so that means that the longer leg is going to be the length. So what we're going to do is like, we're going to inscribe a rectangle. And the length is going to be called what? It's going to be called x, right? Because the length x is along the longer leg of the, tr of the uh, triangle. So this is going to be x, which means that this is going to be x. And if they want the area of this rectangle, it's going to be width times length. Well, if the length is x, we can call this width y. OK? So. Let's see, how are we going to relate x and y together? Well, I could tell you, let's, um, let's call this side over here. If this is y, if this side right here is y, then that means that this side over here is going to be 8 minus y, right? So let's go ahead and write that in. So I'll write that in blue. So this is going to be 8 minus y, OK? Well, I have a little triangle right here, it's OK? So just you know, just so you know, you notice that it's a little triangle. And it looks like it, you've got the base and the uh, and the height of it. So just keep an eye on that. And what we're gonna do is look at the. This is starting to get kind of messy. On your paper, you may even have something here like 10 minus x over here. Okay, and that's fine too. You can go ahead and put that if you want. Let's look at the next triangle here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna rewrite the dimensions of the legs. 8 and 10. I'm just going to leave it like that. Okay. Now I'm looking at this and I'm looking at this and how can I relate this leg and this leg with something in this triangle here that has an X and a Y in it? Well, I can't really relate this triangle with this rectangle because, well, they're two different geometric shapes. But it looks like I can relate the 8 and the 10 to this 8 minus Y and this X. Okay, you see here I'll end up with just numbers, okay, and here I'll end up with a couple variables. So I'd like to relate this with this. So let me draw one more time this inscribed rectangle just to make it a little bit clear. After this is done, you won't need to draw three triangles. You'll be able to just see it right away. But let's go ahead and put in this extra line to inscribe the rectangle. Okay, so now let's write this over here. Let's copy this part down. 8 minus y and x. See how it looks a little bit cleaner? It looks like I can relate this right here with this right here. The 8 minus y and the x to the 8 and the 10. Which means that if I relate 8 minus y and the x to the 8 and the 10, I can isolate the y and ultimately, this is what the problem is asking for. They want to express the area of the rectangle in terms of the length x. So basically, your answer is going to look something like this. Okay. It's going to look something like that. Where you have x times the y, but the y is going to be something else. The y will have to isolate. So what we're going to do is, is this. We're going to use similar triangles. And we're going to say that with the, we're going to use this triangle and we're going to use this triangle here. Let's just make it simple. This one here is just too noisy. Sometimes you don't really see it right away when it's too much information. So this is a good tip. When you have anything of this nature, don't worry about seeing it right away. Even guys that are really good sometimes have to draw it a couple times just to be able to see it better. Especially with similar triangles. Separate the triangles. So let's do this. Let's create a ratio proportion. Let's just say we're going to relate 10 to 8. OK, we're going to use this 10 and this 8. 10 is to 8 as what? 
Well, let me see. It's this longer to the shorter, so I'm going to use the longer to the shorter. So that's going to be x over 8 minus y. So that's going to be x over 8 minus y. Now just cross multiply. So you'll get 8x is equal to 10 times 8 minus y. Then divide both sides by, well, you want to get the y by itself, okay? So that's what you want to plug into here, something with an x, okay? So you want to get the y by itself. So let's start moving everything over to the left side. Divide by 10, you're going to get 8x over 10 is equal to 8 minus y. And you can simplify 8 tenths to 4 fifths x is equal to 8 minus y. And you want to get the y by itself. Um, just replace the y with the 4x over 5. Just have them switch places. So you can do the algebra, uh, the long algebra if you want. But I'm just going to do this quick for you. OK, there we go. So now we've isolated the y. So just plug it into here, and you're done. So x times 8 minus 4x over 5. Now, if you want to, you can go ahead and distribute the x. It really doesn't matter. It's, it's, it's personal preference. But anyway, um, there you go. So the way this problem worked out easily was by drawing it three times. First one, you label everything. Second triangle, we just labeled the, we just put what was in the first sentence. And on the, set, on the last triangle, we, we uh, put certain things that related x and y together. And what we did is we got numbers and letters and put them together in such a way that we ended up with the minimal amount of information, which was this y equaling to some function involving x. So we wrote y in terms of x, and we wrote that into and we substituted this y into here with the with this information right here okay and so that's it so i hope this was helpful and a good tip is separate the geometric figures if you have similar triangles um, and they're all nested inside of each other just separate them uh, you can use your paper you can get a scratch paper and put it on top of the uh, problem and trace over it so that way you have the correct geometric proportions and just go from there. Okay, so again, I hope this was helpful, and good luck with your homework and tests in the future, and thank you for watching.